It was 60 years ago in this very city, Washington, D.C., that the members of what was then the Religious Publicity Council voted to establish an award of merit for excellence in journalism. Those awards have evolved into what we call today the Wilbur Awards, but continuing the tradition of recognizing excellence in the communication of religious faith and values in the public arena, and encouraging an understanding among faith groups on a national level. Through the years, hundreds of professionals and media organizations have been honored with the Wilbur Award. And at very special moments in the association's history, we've paused to give special recognition to individuals who have been exceptional examples to all of us in the world of interreligious understanding, including such individuals as former President and First Lady Jimmy and Rosalind Carter, journalist Bill Moyers, filmmaker Ken Wales, and everybody's favorite neighbor, Fred Rogers. It is fitting that in the 60th year since the association first agreed to make these special awards, that we pause to bring honor to one who embodies the spirit of the Wilbers and the Religion Communications Council. Because so much of his work through the years has directly affected that of so many of the professionals who have been part of the association through this history. You have to wonder if the people in West Point, Nebraska, had any idea 80 years ago that this native son would become an internationally recognized personality. There are many words that can be used to describe Dr. Martin Marty. Teacher, theologian, writer, thinker, minister, commentator, academician, author, historian, mentor, statesman, communicator, and those of which I think he is probably most proud, devoted husband, father, foster parent, and grandfather. In the second half of the 20th century, no name was more recognized in the field of religion than Dr. Marty's, and few have contributed more in writing and commentary to the public discourse of religion. For 35 years, he taught at the University of Chicago Divinity School, where his legacy continues through the Martin Marty Center to promote public religion endeavors. He was one of the primary authors and editors of the Fundamentalism Project for the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. He has led studies in the field of religion, served on presidential commissions, been honored by many other organizations, and has received 75 honorary doctorates. Would you share with some of us, Dr. <laughs> he, can, he continues to speak frequently and to write he regaled us at the table tonight with the books that are in process, not just the ones that have been completed, but the three or four that he has in process, including another one scheduled for publication later this year. It would be impossible to adequately reflect on the life and work of Dr. Martin Marty, who has been called one of the most prominent interpreters of religion and culture today. But that description alone ties him directly to the Religion Communicators Council and what the Wilbers are all about, interpreting religion and culture in an increasingly diverse world. Dr. Marty, you honor us with your presence, and we are pleased to honor you for your work, for your example, for your passion and commitment to ensuring open and appropriate public discourse on religion with this special Wilbur Award from the Religion Communicators Council. you 
you, I know I'm running right, I always catch you reading periodicals. You, you so careful about you read them scripturally. Your problem is you read the scriptures periodically. <laughs> so I vowed to compensate and get real hard work at it, and uh, thus landed the vo dual vocations. Uh, at heart, I am a pastor, uh, a Lutheran ordained pastor, and I've kept that through the years. And all the other things of writing have been correlated with that, uh, the scriptural and the periodical. And if I have an ordination vow, I don't take a vow for the journalism and communicating and writing side, but a very profound commitment, born of respect of all the people I've gotten to know through the years. You're all a big part of my life, and uh, I'm glad to know that I'm in any way a part of yours. Thank you very much for the Wilbur Special Award.